this notebook that was found on the suspect. Um, and it mentions this Islamic cleric, um, Al 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 say it for me. Anwar Al Al Alki. Yes. So tell us about him and why it matters. Anwar Al Al Alki is a pivotal figure uh, in international jihad. He is an American Yemeni uh, who played a very significant role in Al Qaeda uh, in Yemen. Uh, his video sermons, online sermons, helped inspire a wave of attacks uh, on both sides uh, of the Atlantic. This was somebody with a degree of theological knowledge, and he mobilized that uh, to send out a message uh, that the United States was at war with Islam and that Muslims around the world needed to fight back by any means possible. Deeply, deeply influential. Um, the, lots of cases in which uh, terrorist plotters in the United States and Europe listened to his sermons and then moved on and, 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 but this, and, this and acted. But this cleric has been dead for years. Now, he was killed almost exactly five years ago, and uh, a lot of, uh, of his followers have, have been wanting to avenge this. We've seen plots on both sides of the Atlantic where there's been a, a, a motivation to try and avenge uh, his death. He was killed five years ago, uh, in just a few days later ago, uh, in, in, on, in fact, on September 30, uh, 2011. So we're coming up to that five year anniversary. That may be a significant uh, data point uh, here. Uh, but this points to somebody who, who was indeed likely motivated by extreme. Islamist uh, ideology uh, by an al-Qaeda cleric, but this al-Qaeda cleric, Anwar al-Araki, has also, uh, since his death, been embraced by ISIS. Uh, there's even an Anwar al-Araki brigade within uh, the ISIS structure in Syria and Iraq. Interesting.